Product provided by PR Hound and Krim. Yeah, I got another one of these. But from what I've heard, copyright claims are a pain in the butt. So the most I'm going to do is do a first hour gameplay. This is basically an HD remaster of a game that was released years back. Better late than never, I'd say. This is El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron HD Remaster. This video game has been inspired by ancient religions. Well, this should be a nice change of pace. Let me tell you a tale. It took place 360,000... No, 14,000 years ago. Well, to me it seems like only yesterday. To you, it could be tomorrow. It's the story of a man. Known by 72 different names. <laughs> what should I call him? When we first met, his name was Enoch. And, even then, he wouldn't let anyone tell him what to do. Not even me. But, he was a pretty good guy. This is El Shaddai, Hero Ascension of the Metatron, an HD remaster of the original. Really can't wait to play to try this out. And yeah, I love kinds of games like Metroidvania. You can start a new game, you also have a lot of stuff to unlock. Let's adjust the options. There's actually different options. Operation mode. You can choose between high res or action. I'll stick with high res. Background music. Eh, good enough. Sound effects, your controls. You have vibration, default controls. You have, you can set your control scheme. You have your, these are your controls right here. Attack, jump, guard, purify, special moves, special attacks, as well as the overboost. I'll stick with default controls. There's also gauge displays. Now we'll put the gauge on. There's also subtitles, and let's check the languages for them. You have them in English, Japanese, Italian, French, Dutch, Spanish, Chinese. Very good. I'll have them in English. As for voice acting, English and Japanese. No, I'll set them in English. Because why not? Okay, so it's time for us to get started. I only hope this doesn't give me any issues. Let's start a new game. You can choose your difficulty between easy and normal. My yes heart is unlocked after beating the game, so let's go. The armor okay? If not, I could... No problem. Everything's fine.
straight. And we got wiped. Or was this intentional? You get more than one chance, you know. Never give up. Not even if you're completely drained. You must keep struggling to the bitter end. You have to keep pressing buttons rapidly. If you die, rapidly press buttons on the controller. Okay, the input setting can be changed in the options screen. Okay. You can view previous matches in the library. We're not dead yet. Wait, what gives? It's time, Enoch. Are you ready to leave? I gotta say, I'm kind of looking forward to this trip. Say, you've not been down below for some time, have you? You're in for a surprise. Enoch. You sure that's enough armor? I'll take the best you have. Right. Time to go. Enoch. Chapter Zero Zero. The journey begins. See those figures in the distance? Try and reach them. Okay, I'll do that. My guess is it's teaching us how to run and whatnot. The tools and weapons humans use are all based on wisdom from heaven. Wisdom humans couldn't attain in a thousand years. Anyway, try jumping to those figures. Okay. The fruits of wisdom were created by God. They can be helpful to people or they can be abused for evil. It all depends on how to use them. Don't let your enemies draw near them in battle. Okay, can you take it from here? Now your controls. Left analog stick is to move. The X button is to attack. R button is to guard. Press A to jump and again to double jump. Enoch. Humans have a unique gift. The power of choice. I see. They can follow any path they desire. So choose your path carefully. The future of mankind depends on it. Okay. Not bad. If you're that good with your bare hands, let's see how you handle one of God's weapons. It's one of those little shards of wisdom the fallen angel stole. Now try it, Enoch.
Okay then. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, the, the gameplay is a bit sluggish, but... I figure I show the game off, because why not? Now what? It was only when various shards of God's wisdom were stolen that Semyaza's betrayal was uncovered. But by then, he, together with the Grigori he led, had already fled. Nicely done, Enoch. The Archangels are here. All is as Lucifer has shown. We, the Archangels, shall guide you with our voices. Enoch. You must return the fallen angels to heaven. That is your mission. Don't worry. We'll be with you all the way. Careful now, we're crossing over. Once we breach the veil, we'll be on Earth. Bring back any memories, Enoch? Seven angels have fallen to Earth. Big mistake. We're going to tear out their souls and lock them in this prison for eternity. Michael's ring. These shackles will bind the fallen angels in their prison. Can you open those for them? They've never been used before, so they must be real tight. Don't worry, you have to knock them around a bit. Arachiel, we can't let him live out his days on Earth. Arachiel? Arachiel, may this be the place he dies. Semyaza. You know the boss. Used to be an elder on the council. <laughs> Sariel, don't let his idea of love fool you. Getting him to repent. Ezekiel. She talks of love, but doesn't know the meaning. Azazel, leader of the Grigori, and Semyaza's right hand man. Flame 
Beams of Power restores Enoch's latest ability. Much better. Yeah, I gotta admit, the game looks fantastic. Now new enemies, the ramps. Detail on this is just magnificent. We are at your side, always.
As you purify Ellen enemies, the vileness accumulates in your weapon. It is possible, however, to remove such vileness by purifying. Take heart, Enoch. If anyone can purify a weapon, it's you. God, Oh no, this is awesome. <laughs> Bravo. Behold the power of purification. It cleanses all things vile. Purify the red light. The blue light is a sign of overflowing strength. <laughs> When a weapon is equipped, you can move in ways to maximize the effectiveness. With barehanded, you can evade enemy attacks by spinning. Now ain't that nice. This attack is in fact more effective damage dealer than your regular moves. Mix it up with normal attacks for the best results. Much better. Seriously, I'm liking how this game is going so far. Hey. What's the matter? You don't trust me? I guess. Well, I'd say so far so good. Uh huh. You know I could never say no to you. After all, you are the Lord. Yeah. All right. Catch you later. Leave the record keeping to me. Just give me a shot if you spot me. I'll report upstairs on your progress. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's save our game. And there are 50 save files. What the hell? Seriously, 50 save files? That's a bit much. But hey, it's good. So, Enoch, you can see Lucifer. Remember to speak to Lucifer. He will record your progress and report to God. Well, let's hope it'll lead us somewhere nice. Oh yeah, delayed attack. The sky you see is a veil. A false sky created by the fallen angels to hide from God's sight. It must be removed to free the people from their perverted evolution. Fair enough. Be careful. 
for which way you choose, Enoch. But which path should I take? That alone worries me, you know? The path forks here. Be careful which way you choose, Enoch. Fine, we'll take the right path. <laughs> now what's up with the color? He's either very confident or very stupid. Or very stupid. Either way, we've got to bring him back. Or things are going to get a lot wetter around here. I see. There's got to at least be a menu where I could. Basically, way fast. <laughs> the arc is the most mobile, allowing you to remain in the air. Use it in areas where landing is a challenge. Oh, you can slow down your descent. This item repairs your armor. Nice, the light of blessing. I'm sure you'll find them quickly, Enoch. Recognize me, Enoch? I brought this body to deliver a message. We are at your side, always. 
got to admit, this is actually pretty awesome. There's just something. Something about you. I hope you find who you're looking for. No need to rush. There's plenty of time. In fact, all the time in the world. <laughs> Look for the tower. The fallen angels must be there. Yeah, credit scene while fighting goes on. That's cool. Enoch, Azazel is after you. You must change your name. The tower is a lie. It does not exist. Enough. If I stay, it'll be the end of me. Fear not, Hadroniel. The four great angels are with thee. I'll be getting married soon. Unlike you, I can't stay young forever. Yeah, I'm not skipping this. This is just too good. How is it you do not age? Eternal life is just a myth. Show ever the meaning of mortality. Wait, we're traveling forward through time? You have been granted the gift of immortality. Your quest will continue until you find the fallen ones. This doesn't make any sense. Huh? Me? I'm not going anywhere. Midrash, Raphael has a gift for you. These lakes appeared a century ago. A hundred years? Aha. Uh -huh. So this is where they fell. I bet they're still close by. I come from the tower. You don't know when to quit. So, you chose to ignore my warning. Admit these credits are actually interesting. Now we fight Watcher Azazel. Oh, nuts. This ain't good.
Enoch! No! This is the last time you will see me. Do not make the wrong choice again. We lost our weapon. He is a free man. He will give you information on conditions inside the tower. Observations recorded by the Freeman. Interesting. Steal the enemy's weapons, then purify them and make them your own. The time to strike is when you're not your opponent unconscious. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Thankful that's easier. Go ahead, Enoch. That abomination is the tower in which the fallen ones hide. Strange. I do sense their souls within. Much better. Now let's move on. Now let's keep moving. Save our game then. But we're getting close. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> okay, I'll be in touch. Now let's keep moving. We better punch it.
dark and you need to purify the weapon. Let's move. by a shroud of distorted space that hid its location. On the other side of this dimensional rift lies the giant tower the fallen angels erected, surrounded by a sprawling city. To think a tower of this magnitude could be hidden within that interdimensional portal Place is this? something. the timing of your attack a bit to break your opponent's guard. Wait until the enemy is blocking it. Use your guard break attacks. So that's how.
Now that's cool. Now let's see where this leads. Are the people celebrating? That's what I wonder. Very good. Hey, we found it. No doubt about it. They're here. They really outdone themselves building something like this. Don't worry. It's not, not going to be a problem, they say, huh? Not going to be a problem. He's gonna be able to stop him. Alright, bye. Let's see if we can keep on going. I even I gotta wonder how long this is. Much better. Any attacker that leaves himself open for an instant when he strikes. So it pays to take a hit from an adversary, then strike back with a counterattack. This can be far more. Counter attacks don't seem to work. Let's head further in. It would appear the evolved ones worship the fallen angels as gods. They don't even realize how vain evolution is without strife. They don't even realize it. Only through conflict do we evolve. Why did I have to make a Doomfist match? Amazing. 
much better. Tower. The fallen angels left heaven, hiding themselves from God's eyes. People flocked to the false world they created and were covered by a veil. The people flourished and reveled in civilization. They worshipped the fallen angels and forgot God. Only pray our prayers could no longer be heard by them. Wow. Yeah, let me get your weapon back. I'll take that. At least we gain some health back. That's good. ourselves a situation we just gotta trust him okay talk to you later this one the fallen animals have imported monstrosities to monitor and threaten people clad in gold and silver armor the pair of monsters are frightening to behold they soar through the sky unleashing endless showers of blades wow I think that'll have to do it for the time being, because we've only, we've completed the first chapter at best. We're now in chapter two, so at least we get an idea. That is it for this first hour gameplay of this game. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please be sure to hit the like button, it means a lot. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Product provided by PR Hound and Krim. I will see you then. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.